Hi guys, welcome to Nordic Drip Coaching. Today, I have been trying to get this message out. For some reason, I have to get this message out. I'm trying to get it out before the sun goes down. I'm sorry if it's dark, but I have to get this message out. I currently have a sty in my eye and I'm still gonna record. As you can see from the title, this video is gonna be about love. And real love, do we deserve it? Do we feel worthy? Like, And I just wanna let everybody know that we are loved. So I'm gonna start this story by saying that I came to find love at 33. And it wasn't from a person, it wasn't from a relative, it wasn't from anything exterior. Yeah, so I'm gonna start by telling my story and hopefully this will help somebody. So I grew up with a lot of trauma, I grew up with a lot of toxic situations situations in my life I've never really fully felt loved I felt love of course from my mom and then I didn't I felt love from a partner and then I didn't so it was always this love that was never a long-term love growing up I have been in a lot of toxic situations I've been in abusive situations I've been in situations to where of course we all ask why us what did we deserve to be in a situation I realized that I was never receiving the type of love that I was was told I would receive as women as girls we grow up and we're told about this Disney like this first love he's supposed to make us happy he's supposed to be our everything and then we never find it and then we think something's wrong with us well Cinderella found it why can't we so I want to touch base on the fact that I grew up I've always been a hothead I've always had a high temper I've always been the type to want to fight and I think that is because inside I was hurting so much inside I didn't feel worthy I I felt like I felt upset I felt like I wasn't loved I felt like everyone that I wanted to love me did not and it really hurt so I honestly always had this feeling like when I turned 33 something's gonna happen when I turned 33 as a kid I felt like when I turned 33 something's gonna happen I didn't know what but I really thought that I was gonna die like I really thought at 33 that was it and I would tell my mom, I would be like, mom, I think something's gonna happen when I hit 33. Like, I don't know what it is, but I think something's gonna happen. Of course, she said, don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. But at 33, I did die like my self that I have known it died so let me explain how one night I got into a traumatic fight I mean I literally had to fight for my life I was punched in the eye and for several days I literally couldn't see I couldn't see any sunlight I couldn't see anything that had reflected a light or I just couldn't even open up my eye so every morning when I would wake up it was pure torture to go brush my teeth in the bathroom to go wash my face to go open open up a window just to turn on a light so one night I was crying myself to sleep you know like we've all been there of like crying ourselves to sleep why us why do we have to go through this I was like god like I've had so much traumatic situations why have you put me in all these situations like I know I'm strong but damn like why do I have to be this strong all the time why do I have to be the one to go through all these things so I went to sleep and into my sleep I can't say it's a dream because it's the most realest thing that I can ever say that I felt it's the most realist situation that I've ever been in life doesn't even feel as real as that dream did so I went to sleep and pretty much I was led into like a mall kind of a thing and I think it was a mall because I like to shop so I felt more comfortable I was holding my daughter she was probably like four ish five ish maybe six and I was holding her walking through this mall and these African women just came out of nowhere and they came with sound and music and they had, oh my God, they were beautiful. They had these beautiful headpieces. They had this beautiful garment just in like colors I've never seen before. And they were singing. They were singing, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you in the most beautiful sound that I have ever heard in my life. It was pure beauty. The sounds were like sounds you would hear, the little strains of hair you have in your skin. They were dancing and singing. Like, my toes were dancing and singing and mind you I didn't grow up in a religious background so I wasn't a Sunday school girl I didn't read the Bible I was taught of course there was a higher power but I was never taught about the religious aspect of it so I wasn't conditioned to have these beliefs of love and these I mean and these gospel sounds like 
I've never heard like that type of gospel music and it was a gospel music to where it was just radiating through my soul like my soul was singing and dancing to it it was just amazing I was crying I was like begging them to please stop and they just kept saying Jesus loves you you are loved you are loved and just the sound beauty where I'm crying begging them because it felt so good I'm like please just stop I can't deal with this like I never felt love I couldn't handle how much love that I was getting it was too much it was too much then this higher voice said you are love and I love you I love you strong bold like didn't even give a it like just wanted me to know and I'm like oh my god like since that day I was like I'm love like no one can tell me this was a dream no one can tell me this was a lie because it's not so then I'm not gonna say something but I was told by this higher voice when you wake up you're gonna walk to the bathroom and everything is gonna be okay the lights not gonna bother you nothing's gonna bother you. your eyes gonna be fine and I'm telling it no it's not like it's been a week my eye has been in pain so you're telling me now I'm gonna wake up it's gonna be okay and they were like yeah your eyes gonna be fine so I woke up I'm still crying after this experience like and I'm waking up but they're still with me I still feel this presence and then in my head like I get this little voice that says we are with you walk to the light you will be fine and I'm like okay I'm still crying I'm over here wiping my tears I walk to the light and literally I feel no pain and I'm blinking I'm like rubbing my eyes I'm like is this real I feel no pain and I'm just start crying I just start crying and I remember that my mom and my stepfather they were living with me so I walked to their room and I told them this whole story they start crying all of us are crying and I realized like I did die at 33 like from that day I love different from that day I know that this love that we think is love is not love what we feel oh I love this person that's not love that is not love love is not a feeling love is a whole entity love is something that goes through your soul love is something that is like it's truly unconditional it is truly the most strongest emotion that I have ever felt in my life and I say it in a in the only form that I know how it was the most beautiful thing that I have ever felt the most strongest thing that I have ever felt and this experience was just so amazing and from that day I've been a totally different person like I've honestly grown to love better I've honestly grown to forgive I I for the first time know that I'm loved like like I knew no man can ever love me in the way that he loves me I realized that no man can ever love me in that way no person no place no thing can ever love me the way that I know that I'm loved and when you go through a experience like that you realize it's so real that no one can tell you that that didn't happen no one can tell you that that's false because it's more realer than here it's more realer than everyday Maiden stuff like it's it's a beautiful experience and I wanted to share that with everybody I'm sorry about the lighting they just put like the street light on but I had to get this message out this is the second time recording it it seems like there's always a conflict I don't know why but I wanted to let you guys know that you guys are loved you guys are truly adored and no matter what you are never alone no matter what even when you think that you are alone you're not even when you think that you're fighting your battles by yourself you're not sometimes you have to hit rock bottom for the higher power to come and say I got you don't worry I'm here this is who you are because I literally don't think I would have made it I really don't think I would have made it past 33 because the way that I was going oof, I was fighting with everybody I really didn't care like I was so angry at the world I was so angry at everyone else it was always everyone else's problem and it was always why do I have to go through this why do I have to go through all the bad shit and I was just angry but from that day forward my life changed I changed and that's what made me want to start this channel because everyone is a life coach everyone is a life coach if you have experienced life you're a life coach. You have something that can help someone else. You don't need to take a course. You don't need to do none of that stuff. All you need to do is share all of your experiences and how you overcame trauma. What did you do that had shaped your life? Just share it. Share it with someone because someone could be going through something that you went through. And just by you telling them your story, it could really save their life. So I just wanted to share this story. We are loved. God truly is love. And I hope this video helped.
someone even if it's only one person so i love you guys of course and if you're new to this channel please subscribe and there's more videos to come bye